Hello, everyone. We're all back to the Universe podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do Who is that? He's been doing it for the last five minutes. Who is it? Is it the... Lance Stewart. <laughs> it's Lance Stewart, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's the guest. Do you know what? That'd be a great guest. He's dead, right? He must be dead. He's, he's not dead, Will. He's fucking dead. Lance, Lance Stewart. Stewart. That song's ancient, mate. He's got to be... Oh, wait, no. Sorry, I thought you meant Lance <laughs> not Stewart. Not Louis Armstrong, actually... no. Same person. <laughs> Louis Armstrong, Lance Stewart. You see the... L something. Yeah, Louis Armstrong must be dead. They're basically the same, though. Like, if you really, if you, they are the same person, same voice. They've had an equal cultural impact, mm. I'd say. <laughs> what video was that in? Do you reckon everyone will have missed that reference? No. Was that a video people, people love watched? That no, it was, it was, a, that it was, was good. Wasn't it that the last E Boys video? That's uh, the breakup videos. The breakup videos. Oh, yeah. So a few people watched that, yeah. It was a breakup one. That one did quite well. It did oh, do right, quite okay, well. Sorry. People really like that video. Um, I was worried it was buried in chess. By the time this po- when 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 is our video going up? <laughs> the one we recorded. Does anybody know? At some point. What's the what's everyone saying to do? Um, I'm all right. How are you? I'm a good one. I'm good. I'm good. It's been an early one. Eh? I feel like we're all having a bit of a productive one today. Yeah, no, I've been waking up at like nine thirty every day, no matter what time I go to sleep. You said that last week as well. Like you, mo- you kept this going over a good period of time. Yeah, no, I, I wake up literally nine thirty a.m. on the dot every every day, like nice. no matter what time I go to bed. You're like, if it sounds like it's long enough to be like a habit now. Yeah, it is. Uh, it it, it fully is. But that sounds like that doesn't sound like a habit. That sounds like you're getting old because I'm I, every old person I speak to always says that they always get up early and they can't lie in and what you've just said is that you're getting up no matter what time you go to bed yeah no that's good i don't know it might be because i keep my curtains open am i oh i rise with the sun you know and the alarm goes Mm. off every fucking morning i don't have an alarm no the yes the fucking fire alarm in this building oh my (laughs) god it's a piss there's a fire alarm test every like like a couple times a week at like 12 you heard it james at least twice a week (laughs) at least twice a week Fire it alarm. just starts fucking blaring like twice a week, and it's like, what the fuck? Well, at least like, something in that building works. Yeah, no, it, the whole thing seems to be falling apart. <laughs> it's like oh, a man. prank. I feel like you're being, you're being, you're, you're being tangoed. I'm being yeah. tangoed. That's a classic saying. Wait, that that brought back half a memory. I didn't know I have. Explain what was it, what, what what happened when you got tangoed. You know when you've been tangoed. Is that one of the Tango adverts, James? Yeah. Can't remember that. <laughs> From like 2006. So <laughs> 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 that's obscure. Like, when is the last time you saw a Tango advert on TV? It's been... I remember them so vividly as well, now you've mentioned it. Yeah. yeah. It used to be on before Primeval. What was the other one? The Viz... Vi- Vise, Viz... What was the other one? There was some shit one. The vi- It was like red. Fanta? Do you remember the Crushums advert? The crush that with the cow. One. That one sticks. That's still in my head. That really weirded me out as a kid. We, 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 we'd serve the cat and he would go, crush him. It was yeah. very strange. I was never allowed to drink that. I think pure... Why? Why weren't you allowed to drink crush There's too many fucking E numbers. Like Sunny D. I was never allowed to drink Sunny D. I've never had a crush him in my life. Neither have I, actually. Yeah. What is it? He's a milkshake, right? Wait, are crush the yogurts that you have in like the little... No, it's like powdery milkshake, right? Yeah. Isn't oh, it KFC's right, yeah, but... thing? Oh, yeah, uh, recently, yeah, KFC thing. Um, but no, like the fucking, it was like a drink in a bottle, right, Al? Yeah, and it was just very weird. You you, you shake it, don't you? And Hang on, the whole advert was like, I'm, I'm, I'm it would crush the, the cow, crushings. it would crush the cow, the cat with the, with the, with the bottle. I'm sure you still have seen this. James, you're as old as I am. Can we watch the Crushers advert, please? Oh, crusher, crusher, if, oh, crusher, crusher, crusher. Crusher, there so, we go. Crusher. Oh, That's the ad. Do you remember that Cocoa Pops advert where you had the hippos swimming in the bowl? Yes. Yeah. My aunt, my aunt complained about that and got compensation. <laughs> Wait, what? What? She, what? What? I got James. Explain this, please. Yeah. She said it Wait, made her she, feel she, sick. Did she get compensation for being offended by the Cocoa Pops advert? I think so. I think Wait, she what was so offensive about it? And they they compensated her. <laughs> I felt sick. Like, what, oh what, God! What if people, made her feel if sick people... about the Cocoa Pops advert? Well, it was gross. Like, imagine hippos swimming in your fucking cereal. That's not nice. Yeah, that's fucking how they hell, J- James. Why are you, you, what are you saying <laughs> James as if it was me? James, you, there's a part you share blood with them. You're gonna end up like that one day, <laughs> contacting Ofcom because you were offended by the Cocoa Pops advert. <laughs> oh. Could you imagine how fucked we'd be if people managed to get conversation every time they said the podcast made them feel sick? <laughs> or we'd have no money left. Yeah, the last episode. Yeah, that's why we're taking the brand deal.
Gods Will Fall is a high-stakes dark fantasy action game about the few remaining Celtic warriors of a destroyed army, and they're on their way to overthrow the diabolical gods. Unravel the dark secrets of each ancient god as you venture into their elaborate and perilous lairs, crawling with minions who will stop at nothing to defend their deities, and with each location being deadlier than the last. With a pick and play combat style that's easy to learn, but hard to master. A massive challenge awaits all who venture within. Defeat is always moments away as the gods await their challenger. PC Gamer gave it an 84 and called it a Souls meet roguelike, which can frustrate and delight in equal measure. Gods Will Fall is out now on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PC, and Google Stadia. Check it out now with the link in the description and follow Gods Will Fall on social at, at gods underscore will underscore fall and tell them the e-boys sent you. Oh my god, this fucking advert, this brings it back. Oh, I've never seen this. We watching? Yeah, yeah watching. Here. Yeah. Oh, it's such a banger. Oh my god. The place is xylophone. <laughs> this is but so good. The cat on the accordion. This is so, oh, so good. good. <laughs> oh, this is such a banger. I never had a crusher in my life. But I remember this I want some crusher. I want some crusher. What does this, this have to do with milkshakes? What do cats have to do with milkshakes? I don't know, but this was made for me. Oh god, that looks milk. fucking rank. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you make milkshake. What? Yeah, I don't know what it was. You see why I was never allowed it? it looks yeah, no, I don't. I don't blame your parents. That looks fucking horrendous. I don't want any Sunny D slander though, because I I think Sunny D was brought up for a similar reason. But that shit is gold. Yeah, but it's full of sugar, isn't it? It's full of shit. Did you hear the? Was it? Was this true when the the story of the girl's skin that turned like yellow? Oh yeah, Do you I remember heard that, that story. I don't know if it was true, but I heard that. And that's why and people like that's why it's got banned in the UK. I never found. I never bothered to look up if that was. I'm gonna look. Actually, no, I'm gonna look that up now. Mythbusters. It's because she loved butter. That's like another classic advert reference, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, come on, fill me in, fill me in. Love butter. Well, how many more advert references can we get? Well, the butter, the buttercup thing. It's like if you put a buttercup on your chin or something, and your chin goes yellow, you love butter. That was just an advert. It wasn't that, that was but, yeah. I don't know if that was just... I think that was a saying as well. I think it was just... I remember that, though. I remember that. Oh, my God. Okay, it is real. The sunny delight when Sorry, you turn I'm yellow. going to get so many comments saying how old I am this episode because yeah, I've just gone from yourself. some vintage noughties references. Tango oh, adverts. Is there like, big adverts that you can remember we can go through? Oh, I went back and watched all of, like, the 2004 Nike commercials the other day. Elite, oh, elite God, commercials. Amazing, amazing. amazing. When, the when you had all like the Figo was... and the bald ref and he, and oh, Totty. Mate, um, oh. do you remember? Do you, have you seen the Panda Cheese adverts? <laughs> what? It's it's I, it's not a British thing, but it it went viral. Does anybody remember the Laughing Cow? Laughing Cow adverts? They were classics. Yeah, I got back in. It was Lucky Cow Dairy Leap. Yeah, Lucky yeah, Cow. yeah. Pepperami. Pepperami had some of the greatest adverts. Yeah. Yeah, they was a bit out there, weren't they? You you could always tell if someone was a wrong and if they had like one of those pepper army toys strapped to their car. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know what I mean? That was that was a good indicator of someone being a fucking wrong and If somebody turned up to lunch for a pepper army in their lunchbox, they're always the kids you try and avoid. What well, I did. I did. There we go. Point made. Pepper army's <laughs> sick. No, I couldn't bear them. They're grim. It's just like cold, bad quality meat and it's great. Can, can someone say something? Yeah, no, I, need, I need to put you guys on sample. Hold on. Oh, we might end up in the next okay. Riot track. Uh, <laughs> right. I can't wait to see this lovely panda advert. Panda okay. cheese. Are you, are you, you, panda cheese. Have you not seen this? Can you get cheese no. from a panda? Yeah. Well, we're about to find out. Well, you can. Cause you can Thanks. make it with milk. I'm like buy some milk. You give me. Why is it in foreign? <laughs> oh my god! I, I think I remember this. <laughs> There's just a panda in an office, and it's staring at a bunch of people. <laughs> and it's just destroying this panda. It's just a panda that breaks shit. <laughs> it's just really off-putting. Panda, mate, and the Never say no to panda. Never say no to panda. Too right. Why is he in a hospital bed? Panda doesn't care about consent. <laughs> too right. That's a great advert. <laughs> <laughs> they probably wouldn't. They Never wouldn't. Say no to said. panda. Yeah, don't. Always say yes when the pandas are in the room. Oh, Fuck anyone in a bit of a bit of the mood for 
Bit of a move for Nutty News. Nutty News? Yeah, go on, let's hear it. Yeah, go on. We're up for it. We've got some fucking belters this week. I'm going to save the best one to last because I feel like the last one ended on a bit of a damp squid. Uh, Okay, give me a second just to keep linking stuff in here. A man in Chicago, right, this is brilliant, has been um, preserving, like, like reserving parking spots by leaving his trousers there frozen in the snow. Oh, so let me just let me just link this. It's it's, it's uh, you know like uh, how you you quite literally parking holiday, is dumpy. Your dad would go down and reserve some um, <laughs> shut up, reserve shut some. Shut the fuck up, man! Fuck off! Oh my god! <laughs> hang on, hang on. That's hang terrifying. On. <laughs> That's yeah, look really at this. scary. <laughs> look, skip like but twenty seconds in. He puts them, he freezes them and puts them either side. Yeah, context. Look at that. He was at home. I thought he meant they were laying. In the parking space. <laughs> yeah, no, so they, they are, are. They are upright. Stood up. They are upright, frozen solid, upright. Crispy. It is obscure. Well, yeah, because realistically, if they were lying on the floor, you could just drive the car just over it, over, but you're yeah. not driving the car over that. I think someone's just had a bit of a, 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 a quickie there. No, he's left them there on purpose, reserved them like a fucking. Su- How did he get su- out yeah, of Sunday. those? You know, in cartoons, when someone runs away really quickly. <laughs> 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 What yeah, are those sound uh, effects? Oh, mate. That is really weird. How did you discover you could do that, though? That's a real question. I saw a few people doing it on TikTok just standing pants up on their own. So you must oh, just, like, well. get them really wet and then let them get cold. Very good. You push um, yourself. former you high school out. classmates have found out that they're twin siblings. Uh, you'll be shocked to find out they're from Louisiana. Oh. Uh, they haven't had a relationship. Oh, it, I'm looking through it. I was waiting for the part oh. where they found out after kissing. No kisses involved, so well done. No, uh, they've actually decided, Will, that ever since they found out they were siblings, that they're going to give it a go now. So that's Louisiana for you. They found out when the baby was deformed. Wow, that <laughs> says no real joke there. <laughs> Just deformed child. Wait. A, um, a businessman's dog has um, has inherited $5 million, and this one isn't a, a ruse. I'm not being rumbled on this one. This one looks... Hang on, let me just check the website. Yeah, I've, I think I've, this se- one... I've, I've seen this one too. Yeah. Oh, wait, so you think it's real too? It is real, yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, a man has left $5 million to his dog, uh, and basically it's he's given control to, like, the the carer Come of on, the dog. We, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't objectify women like this. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to think about it, to tell you the truth. He just really loved the dog. Well, fuck's the a dog has no concept yeah, what, of money. What, what are you going to do, do with, with the... It? Exactly. Like, do you just treat the dog? Yeah, but he just... He likes the dog. Maybe he just don't like right. the dog. Imagine being that Maybe person's just, kids. You know like, I mean? nah, I sorry, your inheritance dog. is gone. It's all going to the dog. Oh, man. Imagine that. Imagine? How shit of kids must you be? I mean, yeah. I kind of understand it, though, because, like... The dog, you could just treat it to good shit for the rest of its life and it would just live such a blessed life. Whereas, like... What happens when the dog dies? What? Does it go or just the Yeah, government? I guess so. Or if the dog has kids, then... The, waste. <laughs> the dog, yeah, the, the yeah, dog can write its own little will and... <laughs> pass it down. Fucking hell. If you Put were a dog... Money into the stock market. <laughs> if you, yeah, if you were a dog with five million... Open a trading 212 account. If you, were a dog with, if you were a dog with five million, what would you, what <laughs> would you one, fuck off? Like what, what would you spend it on if you were a dog with five mil? What would be the first thing you buy? Well, nothing, because you're a fucking dog fella. Fleshlight. Nah, that's it. All right, brilliant. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Prostitutes. Right, yeah, fantastic. Boys, this is this is the big ending. Okay. Okay. So there's been a cyclops puppy oh. born with one eye, oh. two tongues, and no nose. Right? Oh, all right. A dog owner was stunned when it. Wait until you fucking see it. A dog owner was stunned when her pet <laughs> gave birth to a one a white one eyed puppy with two tongues. Uh, Please call it Michael Zowski. A dog gave birth to only two puppies despite going through menopause. Uh, the, at first, the what? puppy appeared normal, but the second came out, it was quite malformed. Would anybody like to see the puppy? I'd oh, love yeah, to more see than the puppy. Anything. Yes, more than anything. Please. That's it. Deformed dog. Deformed dog. Deformed dog. Deformed dog. Coming. Doesn't mean it's any less perfect, everybody at home. Are you ready? Ooh. If it's a proper monster, then it does. <laughs> God. <laughs> Look at this fucking Oh dog. my fucking God. Oh, Look what at the that. Fuck? Oh my God, not like that at all. That is hideous. What's that going to look like? That thing's not going to go past the age of 10 days, is it? That <laughs> thing's... You might as well just stamp on it, like, there and then, like... Yeah, I'm with George on that. Oh. Uh.
Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fucking, um... It looks like a Star Wars Let me character. try and find what that looks like. It looks like a Star Wars character, mate. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? What is this? <laughs> Poor dog. It's probably... I mean, it looks like he... Is it a he or a she? Who fucking knows, James? Who cares? It's a he, it's a he. James, who cares? He, he looks like he's in a lot of pain. Oh, wait, no. It's dead. It died. <laughs> <laughs> What? It I never, never would have guessed that. However, it didn't make it to the next day and died around 10 p.m. that night as it could not breathe properly. What a fucking surprise. Poor thing. Poor thing. That's so sad. Hideous. Fucking hideous. <laughs> World's better off without it. I feel like that dog sometimes. Oh, not part of nutty news, but did you see the woman who um, glued her hair? Yes. What a gorilla glue. Yeah. Gorilla does, glue. Does anyone know that much, or should we watch the video? I let's watch the video together because I honestly I've just heard about okay. this. I haven't really watched anything about it. I think I've linked the first half of it in here. I think it was given far too much media attention for what it is. Yeah. By the way, because it's like one thing: woman gets gorilla glue in her hair, but I've seen it non-stop for about a week. He, she's in hospital. She's in. She's not in critical condition. Well, of course, fucking not. She's got. She's just got glue in her hair. Who gives a shit? Moron. Do you remember ages ago that that girl got like massive media attention because she ate a tampon? Yeah, like ages ago. Why does ago. my mind go to that as well? Yeah, why, it, why did it's because it's why like something so fucking a... like just disgraceful. It's strange, but you'd think the real story behind the gorilla glue thing is the fact that gorillas have been making and producing their own glue. <laughs> And that's more fascinating to I me just than knew anything The else. tone of your voice, as soon as you started <laughs> speaking there, that you were about to spout utter shite. Yeah, yeah. what fucking shit's going to come out of his mouth now? James, would you mind, or oh, someone would mind screen sharing and recording the video of the Gorilla Glue? I'm, right? the, I'm the little screen sharing bitch of the e you are, that's, your, that's your job. Yeah, and it never fucking works either, because I don't know why we fucking yeah. do. <laughs> Whoever has the least subscribers is on the screen share, Juicy. <laughs> That's just how it is. Oh, good. Yeah, when you, when you hit two mil, we'll take you off. So, so saying that, right, there was an um video recently released about, like, and the title was, like, E-Boys, Sidemen, or, or Beta Squad, right? I did find one comment which put us first. That was, that's good. <laughs> wow, one. I don't know why <laughs> no one put us first. Like, did, any you, and then, did any of you see the poll? I put us first. I didn't mean it, but I put us first. I put us first. <laughs> yeah, I put us first. No, you didn't, Will. You put Beta Squad first. Oh, you... oh shit. <laughs> Did you even pass second? Oh, second's quite good. Second's quite good. We take seconds, to be fair. We no, do we take seconds. We don't second. make videos, Ali. Well, neither did Beta Squad. No, yeah. we're both in the same boat. But they made them more recently. Who uploaded but... last? Us or Beta Squad? Them. I don't know. Them, actually. probably. Them, I think. Yeah, oh, I, but I, I realised, right... Often. We'll take I, the, the top comment was basically a ranking and then loads of replies to it. And one of them was just like... I just fucking hate James Marriott. And there was another one under it, which was like, yeah, can't stand him. And I was just there like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to let you know, it's real bad news for you if they hate you more than me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's quite impressive. So I'm just going to let you know. So, um, I've, I'd be gutted if I was you. It was, oh, to, to our credit though, right? It was on a footy channel, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> all, that's us. Saving We're footy yeah. lads. We're if footy lads. On a video Everyone loves us. I like fucking tea spill, right? James, you would have cleaned up, fella. Yeah, ask that poll again at a, at a Panic at the Disco poll, right? And then, <laughs> yeah, then we'll see who wins that one. How about that? Yeah, fuck me. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Right, share this fucking video, will you? Hang on, what were the poll? I, well, there was a poll? I did a poll. It was absolutely soul-destroying, and they tagged me in it and everything. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> where, where was this? Hang on, hang on. Hang, is this on YouTube? <laughs> where they did a poll? I haven't yeah, seen the poll. poll. We got 2% of the votes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, e no. boy season. E boy season. There was a poll. That is that is the, <laughs> the single most demotivating thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> uh, everybody. Oh man. Where, right. where? We got a Click comment the on the podcast last week. Show me it. Come on. I don't believe this for a second. Show me this. We got a comment on the podcast last week that said, "This is one of the best podcasts behind True Geordie, Waffling, Happy Hour." <laughs> <laughs> Boys, we're up to four percent. Yeah, Will, show me this. Will, show me this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're up to four percent, and to be fair, Beta Squad are only eleven. Right, they're only six percent. Cybermen cleaning up, bro. Oh my we're god, gonna... that is fucking heartbreaking. <laughs> 
everyone, okay, okay, everyone watching this, go to the uh, um community tab and vote for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please, please, please we can pull this back. We're, we're kind of rigged. We we're we rigged. have more than more than thirty three thousand people listen to this podcast. If every single person listening right now goes and fucking comments on this, actually no, we're, we're giving them what they want, aren't we? No, we want we're them to vote them. for us. Because this is Can't fucking rig. embarrassing, James. Four really percent. <laughs> We can't. Do the it's so bad. It won't make us any better. Did you know? Did you know? Right, every every other person in that video put us last. By the way, I, I watched it back. <laughs> James put us last. Manny put us last. Nico put us last. Chunks put us last. And I was just there, like. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just watching you two come on screen like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, oh <laughs> yeah. I was just like, you bastard. Not takes my shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. We're here. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, we're, 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 we fucking... are. It's. I've never thought that I would agree with your statement from the last episode, Will, uh, that we are the, the, the music kids. Oh, we are we're like, the fucking <laughs> rejects, bro. We're the fucking rejects. <laughs> But we made E-Boys green screens and nobody could come close to that and that is why we'd die on that hill. Yeah, not even us every time we'll try and replicate it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> E-Boys Wait. green screens 2 was really good, to be fair. It was really good. I can't remember that one. Was that No, that was the subscriber one, wasn't it? That was shit. Yeah, we like three. 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 We, two was so shit we're not even counting it. Yeah, but it was called E-Boys Green Screens 2. That one was like a 1.5. You know how like, they do the jackass one point like, shit? Oh, yeah. It was like yeah. a 1.5, you know? Right. Yeah, one and a half. It was halfway. All right, let's look at this. Gorilla Glue Girl Part 1. What hey, yo. But those of y'all that know Those know, eyes are marbles. My hair has been like this for about a month now. Chiseled. It's not bad for you. You know what? For it's all the bad. shit you give me about bad when jokes, that hair, was like, pretty oh, trash. Finish it off. Are you ready? Yeah. Three. Three, you know, just two, to one, keep it in place. Well, I didn't have any more got to be glue spray, so I like got this. four eyelashes, just four long ones. Oh, Gorilla glue spray. Yeah. It's a starlight. Bad, bad, bad idea. Yo, look, my hair, it don't move. You hear what I'm telling you? It don't move. I've washed my hair 15 <laughs> times, and it don't move. Stiff wear. Woo! My hair... So I'm gonna tell y'all like this. Oh, if you my ever, Phelps. ever run out of got to be glue spray, like a lacquer, man. don't ever. To be fair, she deserves ever this. Use this so unless like you natural selection in that. Like that. I was quite perplexed by this because everybody was outraged. And I was like, just don't put it in your hair. Yeah. It looks like she's drawn her hair on with a Sharpie. Yeah, what do you expect? That looks like the fucking, the Fousey tube tattooed hairline. Yeah. Like, I, I cut my hair. Have any of you cut your hair in lockdown? No. No, you're the only sterile enough to, bastard to try it. I'm the only one. I did I did it, and I fucked it up big time at the back. It was, it was It's a war zone back there. That's why I wear hats now. Classic Alex. You've got quite there good you go. at the... Too oh, fuck, oh, James. Uh, fuck it up. James. Big time. Fuck it up at the back. <laughs> yeah, mate. Quite good at the front, though. You've got, you've got like, layers on the front. <laughs> Forget it. Sorry, forget it. Wasn't planned. Forget <laughs> Sorry, it. he was a bit, he was busy. Well, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I do have layers. I'm like an onion. Yeah. Well, there we go. He's put that one back. Uh, uh, yeah. And then this woman, they found a way. She kept her hair. So you're thinking, oh no, her hair's done. She's just go bald, right? Just shave it out. Apparently, she she kept her hair. Uh, some guy got it out. Yeah, they made a concoction. Apparently, in the lab, oh. they took her to the lab. Someone, someone just scrambled out of all of her hair. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can't be able to make a COVID vaccine. They can't say that they've been doing this instead. What priority? So, but why was this news for a week? Is it just nothing happened? I don't know. I do not know. I have a question. It was big, big as well, right? All right, yep, George. You know how hair grows from like the, the, the scalp? Yeah, my yes. What happens when a hair grows when it's gorilla grooved in? Does it just like... Does the hair just not... Is the hair just not able to grow? It could be like an ingrown hair. You know when hair kind of... Oh, no, yeah. it's fucking it awful. And then it would just like gradually get bigger like Megamind. Oh, no. And it would stretch. <laughs> Expand. She should have kept it in for science. See what happens. You'd end up looking like fucking Megamind. Yeah. You would, wouldn't you? That's so strange. That's so strange. I just don't understand how you go, how you go oh, a glue's the next best option. 
Why don't you just go oh, have a bad hair day? Oh, okay. this is the. I, I mean, I'm, again, I'm going to sound like a fucking boomer here, but this is the world we live in. To the yeah, point well, where yeah. it's more important. Yeah, so I've got to shut up. Thanks for that, George. <laughs> I, think, I think that was part. Of, I, I did actually read about. I was confused why people were upset, and I think it was about something to do with um, like if you're like like hair standards, beauty standards, uh, from what I could tell, and how like you know people resort to doing stuff like that or whatever, and that's why people had a problem with it but to be honest I didn't care enough to look well no I don't. I think it's just fucking you Stupid. don't look at beauty standards and think yes I should put gorilla glue in my hair I, I'm not saying yeah. that I would do this I'm saying that that's what I saw on Twitter and Twitter's always right fuck off nah, fuck yeah, off shut, shut up that's, nah, not you shut up Alex but Twitter's shut up <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna you. say say sorry to him <laughs> fuck speaking me. of speaking of beauty standards James Charles has tried out a new a new look this week going bold I want to slap his head. He's got a good old ending to that video. That's a that's a he's got a good old ending. Yeah, but he didn't actually do it, did he? he put a bowl cap on. Yeah, it's a video. Surely it's, a, it's obviously it's a video, right? It is a video. It's it is a video. It's better be. I want to slap it, his it's head. A, it's a great video, to be fair. Um, George, why do you want to slap him on the head? Is that for is that for any reason or just because he's bold? No, I just kind of just kind of do. Can we go <sighs> bold? E boys go bold for a video. We're, we're, we're we're I was actually, teams. I was almost, I was, during one of my lower periods last week, I was like, I might just make a TikTok where I just shave every piece of hair on my face. So I was just going to say like, every, I thought you were about to say it, every it. piece of hair on my body. I was like, James, I don't well, think George, that's, that's, a, that's a private, that's a private showing. So maybe for you, George, but I was thinking like, it would just be funny if I made a TikTok because obviously me shaving my beard has been a bit of a meme in the past and I just start doing it and then I'm just a fucking egg. I just thought that would be quite funny. How long has it been since Beardless James Marriott? Oh my god, like at least a year and a half now. Nah, longer than that, right? Oh I god, no, it will be, yeah. Like without a beard. It'll be over two years. It'll be over two years now. Did you have a beard when I first met you? Yeah, but then I shaved it. George George was under the impression that when we first became friends, I didn't have a beard. He but did. I did. I did. Maybe, And yeah, then yeah, I shaved mid-camp cast. I shaved... Yes, you did, and you hated it. I remember you distinctly yeah. regretted it instantly. <laughs> yeah. What, the cam cast or shaving? <laughs> yeah, both. both. <laughs> I, was, I, I was told at the time that uh, by the person I was in a relationship with that I couldn't shave. That I would, I, and, <laughs> and I, they I were right. Someone, after, and they were right. After shaving, I, I now I'm terrified of it. So I, I don't think I'll ever shave again, probably. I wanted to... Um, so there you go talk about the fact that today is a very special day does anybody know what holiday it is today day after valentine day is it is it is it low price chocolate day is it... no no it's pancake is it day, national apparently. hedgehog day alex no it's pancake day did anyone know it was pancake day today oh it's actually what no it's what... not pancake day it's monday it might be in america or one of those foreign countries isn't it shrove shrove tuesday's pancake day yeah, Shrove Tuesday. It's fucking Monday, fella. I look. I read this on Twitter, right? Which is where I get all my topics from. <laughs> Don't look <laughs> me. Don't look me. What, what pancakes are you on about? Look, all right. Let's type. All right, all right. Let's test this. All right. If I go on Twitter Come right on, now, then. put it in the chat. If I, I'm, go, I'm using Twitter still because I'm not going to actually Google it because then it will prove that I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> pancake day. Yeah, it's pancake day. <laughs> yeah. No, all right. Well, that's it solved. Hey, yeah, let's I'm... get with the evidence. Oh, good. Well, thank you for that, Alex. It is Pancake Day. I, I will, I will forget all of the things I know about Easter and and all of that. It is. It's tomorrow. No, but it apparently, is apparently, oh, is it? Wait, what day is it today? Shrove Tuesday. Oh no, is it's tomorrow. Yeah. Well, okay. We're a day before Pancake Day. <laughs> but now we will know what's in get some stuff. I've got some. I've got my eggs. I've got my oat milk. Mental our last Pancake Day, we were allowed outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Last when, last what? pancake day we were allowed outside. Yeah, but that what difference did that make? Did you, <laughs> did you go and eat your did you go and eat no, your pancakes? I'm just saying it's weird to think cuz pancake year. day feels like only like a few months ago to me. When I made too many pancakes. <laughs> do, you, do you really celebrate pancake day? George. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have I, I, no, I remember last, last pancake day. <laughs> what are you no, like pancakes? It's not Christmas, mate. I don't care. It's like one of them. It's like one of them kind of half, um, half holidays, isn't it? Like Valentine's Day or like, Mother's Day. Like you know St. what I mean? Like St. Patrick's Day, yeah. <laughs> or Mother's Day. 
<laughs> yeah, that's I'd say that's like a quarter one. Oh, this is a bit now. Your poor mother. God damn, half a day. If you don't get a bank holiday for it, there's no point. Oh, Would you holidays. say one? So if you don't get a if you don't get a bank holiday for it, it doesn't count. Yeah. Ah, oh, true. It's not a real holiday. You're very correct there. Uh, all right. Did anybody? Something is going on in my house. What is it? Otto. Oh yeah. I don't know. Is he still got the cone on his head? Yeah. Oh, come on, get him in, get him in. I would, but I have coffee stains all over me and I'm not prepared. Well, all right. Well, Bryce, can you just cut the bit where James gets up and... Coffee stains, everyone. Please. He shit James himself. Okay, yeah, well, they're brown. So what, are they shit stains? Uh... Yes. You shat yourself. You pissed shit. If it makes you feel better, I've got some too. So yeah, if it makes you feel better, guys, I shat myself when we started this podcast. <laughs> so, you know. I was going to uh, use the pancake day segment to segue on to the fact that um, uh-huh. for some reason there's cakes of everybody. Yeah. And they're scary. Oh, I saw the Captain Tom. Yes. All right, let's wait until he's back and then. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, he's yeah, gone to clean Captain up Tom his shit one. stains. Captain Tom one was elite, to be fair. Fuck me. I just want to punch it. Like, I, I don't we... want... the God, Captain Tom? Not him, but like the <laughs> the cake. I'm looking up cake. Have you seen the Captain there, Tom wanna... Bong? Captain Tom <laughs> Bong? <laughs> I'll send it in the chat. <laughs> Sorry. The Captain <laughs> Tom Bong. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. There's a Captain Tom Bong. We live in a really normal country, you know. I'll put it in the <laughs> chat. I've seen like the Captain Tom Stan Smith since. St- oh my <laughs> god. That- Bro, that ain't real. <laughs> that ain't real. No, my chest! Oh, nah, no. mate, that ain't real. No, so for those international <laughs> listeners, right, there was this old 100, 100 year old guy. He walked around his garden loads of times and raised like, raised, like millions for charity to help COVID. And, and he died um, a couple of weeks ago or a week ago. And it appears people have... Well, this is his face here. <laughs> He's been turned into a bong. Captain Tom Ceramic. That can't be. Josh, do you want to buy one? I'm going <laughs> to buy one. Smoke a bowl out, gonna... Captain Tom. <laughs> I'm going to buy one of these right now. It might be... It's, I'm saying... I reckon it's a joke. Like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> being, a, being a roost. But let's not let, let that get in the way. Oh, is that, oh, oh, is that the fucking badge on it? Made in China with a big Union Jack. <laughs> Oh, you can buy Captain Tom skirts on Redbubble. Oh, what the fuck! Fucking course you can. Look at that. That's that's what you want. Yeah, there's no Captain Tom bong. We, on, um... we live in a fucking normal country, don't we? It's it's because they've all sold out, boys. That's where it's gone. <laughs> they've all gone. They just can't show them anymore because they've all <laughs> flew off the shelves. Oh man! If you type in the word "bong" on Amazon, you get some really fascinating results. We should do this as a segment where we just type in random words into Amazon and see what we can find. For the record, we're not making fun of Captain Tom. We're making fun of the British public that make things like this. Yeah, they know that. Do you want to smoke a bowl, Will? Oh my God! Look at this. Wait, what, what's he doing with his cat? Like, what, he's not. He's only a few rooms in his house. Yeah, but he, he's running away and he's he's acrobatic. Mate, like this is incredible. I'm looking through the the bong page on Amazon. Oh, look at what I've just found. What? This is elite. A stormtrooper bong. Two of your favourite things. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't smoke. I A promise. gas mask bong. <laughs> it's grim, isn't it? Fuck me. That's, that's rather intimidating. It is. <laughs> oh, you can get a predator one too. Fuck me. Mate, there's a Yoda one. A bong in the shape of Yoda's <laughs> head? Oh, fucking it. Mmm, do, do not smoke, you must. Mmm, smoke weed, I must. <laughs> Who the fuck is this fella? Mmm, blazed, I might be. Mmm, hotbox the car, I must. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this cat. Where the fuck is he? Has he died? Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. Shall we just kick him out of the car? Just be us free. <laughs> Get rid of him. Get more videos uploaded. <laughs> uh, well, he's probably going to fucking lose his SD card file anyway, so there's no point in really having him here. And I'll ping him in the chat and say, hurry up or you're getting kicked. I don't know. Do you know what? I can keep you guys entertained. We'll do, um... we'll do this. Right, you ready? Bro? Fucking hell, is this another 20 questions type thing? Well, this is not staying in. 
Oh, yeah, it is. Come on, go against June. A red rose. Oh, fuck, that sounded terrible. Uh, all right, I'll do it again. Things just fall apart when James goes. Red rose is blue. I reckon we cremate Otto and smoke him in the Captain Tom bong. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can you, could you light ashes? Yeah, I think I so. You can light so. most things. Oh, like charcoal. I I've lit a chocolate like. yeah, bar so before. You could smoke your dead cat if you wanted to. You can smoke anything. I've smoked a chocolate bar before, <laughs> like a Twix. You smoked a chocolate? What do you mean you smoked like a chocolate? Like you light the end of a Twix and you inhale and you, you smoke You're it. A fucking delinquent. <laughs> <laughs> that is the most you thing ever. You can't have had more than two friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got man. three right here. Do you remember when you bought that um that cool lighter? What the zip? The Zippo. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, James has been uh, James has been eaten alive, everybody. So we don't have him now for the rest of this podcast. But um, I, I find it very strange the idea that one, well, I mean, I was going to say immortalized, but I'd assume the cake gets eaten. That YouTubers have been immortalized. <laughs> <in both laughs> last the weeks. Yeah. Until the cake goes stale. Yeah, YouTube has been. George was has a birthday. Look, if we talk, let's see. If, I wonder, is there a will any birthday cake? I don't. I don't think so. So I wait, bet there context, is. I've seen. I've seen a Captain Tom kick, and I've seen a KSI kick, um, like life-sized three D models of people's heads. But what? What? Where do you get them from? There is a Willany birthday cake. A specific bakery. I'll go and link it. What? Look at this. I've just found a Willany oh, no. your mother birthday cake, and it actually looks sick. Look oh, at this, God. man. It's uh, uploading. Sorry, our internet sucks here. Um, when you type in Will and E birthday cake, you get the Will and E birthday cake and a picture of James Marriott with a ca- caterpillar cake. That's what you get. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah, someone that made that. Like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really neat. And then there's loads for George. But apparently, a lot of kids ask for ask for George at their birthday party. Me Miller's birthday cakes. And normally they don't have to ask. He turns up anyway. Hang on, wait. I want to see how many there are. Yeah, he pops out of them, then catches them and takes them home. <laughs> I found a wag. Oh my god, there are loads. I found a wag one pifting cake. What? Link it. <laughs> look, look, I'll I'm share gonna... your screen. Oh uh, yeah. All right. Here you go. Look at this. Look at these. So, so you've got uh, a a cake of all of our clothing here. Alpha LG the LGT merch. Um, look at all of this. The loot, live, laugh, loot, and stuff. That's elite, by the way. Oh my god! Um... Someone's made a cake with that picture of us with like fake oh. drugs in front of us. <laughs> Happy happy fifteenth birthday, Maggie! Oh my god, no! <laughs> <laughs> no. I like the memeless eyes cake. That's quite a good one. Yeah. There's this one. That one. There's a cake of George's eyes. Um. Oh. Uh. Like <laughs> one fifteen cake. Oh, uh, mate, this is incredible. This is the cake. Twenty first birthday. Imagine being twenty one uh, and getting. Uh, uh, 21 are getting this. Forever Alone cake. Mad how your brand logo, George, is essentially just a rage comic. Yeah. <laughs> nine gag, you've got a nine gag brand logo. Oh, man. Oh, there's another one. Alex, down, 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 down. Sorry about that, boys. I'm back. In conclusion, I don't think he's in the mood. We're looking at cakes, James. Wong, 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 Where's the eye? There's no eye. Yeah, they, they ran out. So, James, you missed a lot. Look in the chat. Um, there's uh, a, a Captain Tom Bong. Oh, lovely. Would you smoke the Captain Tom Bong? Yes. More importantly, would you eat the Captain wait, Tom Bong? Wait, the Great British Flag with Made in China. <laughs> yeah, that's what I fucking yeah, said. We couldn't, find it. we couldn't find it on Amazon, unfortunately. Really tried our best, but I couldn't find it. Yeah, the, the KSI cake's very strange, though. Look up E-Boy's cake. Oh, no, wait, look at this, James. Somebody got a cake with us pretending to do drugs on it. Really? Yeah, you know that picture? Isn't that mental? Oh, yeah. Though? If you'd have told me, like, I don't know, five, six years ago, that somebody would put you on your birthday cake, I would be absolutely blown away by that thought. Hmm. How weird is that? No, you're just disturbed. Please make more birthday cakes with us on. Oh, yeah, generally. I want a life-size, like, head meaningless cake. Yeah, can we have a life-size Please cake to all of us? That'd be honest. fantastic. Um, 
But also, in other news, food... F- Can we do that for the next E-Boys Bake Off if we do another one? That would be great. Just commission, like, cakes of all our heads. <laughs> oh, that would actually be fantastic. <laughs> Did you see this fucking bullshit that Kim... Co- Sorry, it's a, it's a little bit... A, a little bit mainstreamy type shit. Uh, but did you see um, the shit Kim Kardashian claimed her fucking daughter painted? Yes. I did not. Let's see it. F- hang on. Watch, watch my... Watch my. I watch saw this on um, fucking TikTok. Look at this, right? Bear in mind, North, her daughter's seven. Look at this shit. That's Bob Ross, bro. L- look at it. It's not Bob Ross. That, no, Bob Ross did that. Look at yeah, fucking... Yeah, he gave back. He's reincarnated. It's not it's fucking bullshit, mate. Oh, fuck off, Cosmo. Do you actually not believe... See, the thing is, I saw somebody on TikTok post... I saw somebody on TikTok post that they that they were in the same art class and that they did do that. Their, their daughter or whatever is in the same art class oh, and, she, and they did that. Yeah. They just, she's just written her name on it and gone, yeah, it's mine. Don't play with me when it comes to my children. My daughter and her best friend have been taking a serious oil painting class where their talents creative have been encouraging her. Fuck off, she's seven. Oh, Northwest painted that. Get fuck. No, she didn't. Full of shit. Do you really? Are you really gonna? You're taking it. Do you blame Kim Kardashian here or the kid for lying about painting it? I blame the kid. I blame I, the kid. Always blame the kid. Always blame the kid. She take responsibility, really, shouldn't they? Because it's disgraceful. Oh, I mean, did anybody here take art class for GCSE? Or were we? Uh, George yeah. could draw beads of dragons. I can. Well, I've never seen proof of that. I'm really good at them. You've seen them, haven't you, Will? What do you say? Do you see my drawings? I've seen them many a time. You got a C, right? Yeah, I did. Yep. See? That's very impressive. No more see? ship. No more see? ship. <laughs> see? There we go. Well done. Yeah, that was good. That was good, Will. Moving on from art, did you guys see the Gymshark billboard thing? Yes. Yeah, I don't believe they're going to do it. I don't believe nah. they're going to do it. They fucking censored me. They yeah, hit so... my reply, and I think they were worried because I thought it was going to win. So give context. Uh, I don't okay. know if they thought it was going to win, George. No, okay, Olivier. so uh, Jim Sharp <laughs> tweeted out, blow this up, whoever gets the most like comment will put on a billboard in Times Square. So I replied with uh, piss fuck, because I thought it would be really funny to see Jim Shark piss fuck in, uh, in Times Square. Um, but they hid my reply, uh, and I think it's, it's censorship, 1984. Did you, did you believe, George, that they would put that uh, on? Reference. Yeah, historical reference. You wouldn't get it. You were probably not historical. Not work. historical. Fictional, fictional, fictional. fictional book. Sorry, even better. <laughs> um, my apologies, George. Did you think they were going to put the word "fuck" on a billboard? I don't see why not. <laughs> you don't see why not. No. You don't think there's any form of Ofcom regulation stopping that from happening? It's America, so I don't. I don't think they really care. Oh yeah, they're they're, law- they're lawless over there. <laughs> lawless country. The race between Schlatt and Corpse was was really close though. Wait, Schlatt has more than Corpse as one now. Yeah, but it's a bit late now. Oh. It's a bit late. I, I really wanted Schlatt to win. Yeah, because I, There's no I way think... they put I like men on a fucking billboard. <laughs> What's wrong with that? No fucking way, bro. The corpse one is just boring, in my opinion. I think Schlatt's one's well more interesting. Yeah, just to fucking... on billboards. Interesting. <laughs> Plus, that song came out a year ago. It's, it's... it's just self-promoing, whereas Schlatt is uh, expressing his love for men. Yeah, that's brave. Yeah. What Better Schlatt content. did was brave. You know, yeah, and he should be Broke represented for that. Yeah, exactly. Corpse just loves egos. Did you see the video of the lawyer who fucked it yeah, and did. joined a Zoom fucking That's call? So good. And That's so good. I haven't. And fucking, uh, he had a filter of a cat, and it was so he, big, important lawyer, barrister, whatever, joins a trial Zoom call, and his face is just a cat. <laughs> oh, I have seen this video. <laughs> I on. haven't seen it. I haven't I'll screen seen share. It. I'll screen share. This is better than the fucking like, the county one, in my opinion. Yeah. By far. Oh, fuck. It is so good. I love it because just the confusion on it. Like a man who just can't use a computer to save his life, just trying his best. It's like us. It's like us doing this. Yeah. It's like us trying to learn how to screen share. Which, yeah, which button do you press? Mr. Ponton, I believe you have a filter turned on in the, <laughs> it's the eyes man it looks like the crusher oh, ad. you might want to uh, uh did you say like the crusher ad? can you hear me judge i can hear you i think crusher. it's a filter it, in the... it is and i don't know how to remove it i've got my assistant here she's trying to but uh, <laughs> i'm prepared to go forward with it that's i'm prepared to go forward with it 
I'm a cat. Yeah, I big, can, I can big, see that. very big. Imagine uh, being like at the. Uh, imagine like being on a trial for murder, and your lawyer turns up as a fucking cat. Like, how much confidence? <laughs> oh my give you? god, you're so done. That's thirty years easy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you... no, you get cute. You get cute points. If the judge is a cat person, then you're you're winning that. Nah, you're fucked. Up. Nah, you're a death row, so mate. Fucked. That must be uh, the he's worst a, he's a cute ever. Cat boy. Oh god, <laughs> anyway, that's absolutely outrageous. You have to nya after every sentence, oh, after every no. good point. No, that's, no. That's grim. I don't like. I don't want to think about that at all. Do you know what I want to talk about? We're, let's turn this into a manly thing. The the CEO of Weatherspoons has laid down the law. And you seen oh, this? He is demanded. He is demanded that as soon as we come out of lockdown, that Weatherspoons are allowed to reopen across the country. And I, for one, are glad that he's making a stand. Bring back spoons. Yeah, I agree. Bring What's back he said? spoons. What's he said? He basically said, right, that he, he, he issued an ultimatum, shit you not, um, This basically said that if they didn't let Weather Spoons get reopened, um, along with, I don't know, whatever else they're planning to reopen, is it? Is it hotels? It's hotels, isn't it? They want to reopen next. Yeah, they have hotels. Yeah, they want to reopen hotels. He said, if you, he said, whether spoons and the hotels need to open, or he'll get angry. Is that what he told the government? He went, I'll get really angry if you don't let me open my pubs. Mate, do you remember? No, oh no, no, sorry, Mister Weatherspoon. It's, it's, you can open your pub, <laughs> Mister Weatherspoon. I swear, Weatherspoons is the biggest student contradiction there is because you get students that just like, I, I like. We'll have very left-leaning beliefs, and then we'll go to Weatherspoons, which is just like the embodiment of absolute asshole. Do you remember like, when we went like... there and they were they were refusing to do Jaeger bombs, and they invented their own one? Yeah, because they they because they, they were like Brexit isn't happening quick enough. We are no longer serving German drinks. And <laughs> yes. they, 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 yeah, they, well done, well done, Mr. Well every done. table, every table had a leaflet basically saying like our replacements for European spirits, and it was like a British version of Jaeger. And it was like, oh, God, and it's hard, and it's cheap. It's the cheapest thing on the menu. Our cheap little Jaeger substitute. Yeah, they were also like, it's cheaper and it's British made. Um, <laughs> whether what they were called strikers, weren't they? Striker bombs, a proper British name. <laughs> We go, we have those we all, know, we all love them, them striker bombs. Oh, yeah, let's go the whole way. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we hit those Germans with the striker bombs. They can't get, can't get away from us. Um, I really, Named after a, a RAF pilots. Oh, it's outrageous. Oh, yeah, let me find it. The company said the move to increase its range of drink from the UK and non-EU producers ahead of Brexit will lead to lower prices for pub goers, and I, for one, celebrate it. Tim Martin said... The, new, the three new products will be offered to a lower price than the ones they're replacing. Well, well and Tim. Tim Martin. That is exactly the name of the guy who you would think would own a Weatherspoons, wouldn't you? Tim Martin. It doesn't get more British mm. than that. And I am for one, I'm glad. I haven't been to a Weatherspoons in ages. I only really go well, to them I um, wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I, I was there last week. Before the pandemic. Yeah, if I, if I look at the, the calendar, it's been about a year, actually. Yeah, yeah. Fucking March last year. No, even before the pandemic, I never really went to went to Weatherspoons. James, when was the last time you went? Oh God. Well, I used to work there, so I, I kind of always I feel a bit I bad going it's back. What do you mean? I was I was I thought you would be like oh, sometime before last March, so we could set up the joke. But forget it. Oh no, he went for he went for real and honest, real honest and raw. Did you work at Weatherspoons? I did, yes. I worked at the... Well, funnily enough, I worked at the most expensive Weatherspoons in the country, so... That says somehow. it all, really, doesn't it? That says it all. Where was that? Um, Camden. Oh. The Ice Wharf. It is... The prices are ridiculous. I would work there because my dad told me I needed a job, and then I would finish my shift and spend all of the money I just earned on <laughs> alcohol. And and it was a... It was a... It was a brilliant relationship I had with uh, the pub. It was a loop. <laughs> A never-ending loop. Yeah, that's brutal. That's a brutal circle. I could. I <sighs> can I admit, for the entire time that I worked there, I did not realize that the recipe I was given for the cocktails um, wasn't the one I should be using for pitchers. So the entire time I was making pitchers, I was putting in the amount of alcohol of a small cocktail, and no one ever complained. 
Mr. Weatherspoon should give you a medal. You weren't putting in you weren't putting in no alcohol. No, I was putting in about I think a third of what I was meant to be putting in alcohol wise, and no one complained. Rob and the people, were you doing it out of spite or would you what why why were you helping No, I I'm useless. I, I oh. don't think people understand this. <laughs> I, when it comes when it comes to regular jobs, I am absolutely useless. Yeah, well I can't do it. We've seen your history with SD cards, mate. I wouldn't count out this one either. <laughs> I, 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 I have a good amount of chat in me. I talk the talk. I most certainly never walk to the walk, and I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. I just like the idea of you just hoarding all the alcohol for yourself after the shift. Like, this is what I saved. Uh, well, that, I, you know how much I was paid? How much? Work at Weatherspoons. £5.50 an hour, and I was 19 years old. Wow, that's pretty terrible. But they didn't have striker bombs back then, so they were having to spend all that money on Jaeger bombs, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Some jab, yeah, some poor German fella got all of your cash. So not anymore though. They they were like you. They didn't pay you the living wage until you were twenty one years old because you don't legally have to. And and George is George, sitting back in his chair you thinking. He's been on his phone last two minutes. I admire him. George's real name is Tim Martin, by the way. For anybody who's surprised. <laughs> yeah. Of, um, got I admire it really, James. <laughs> Have we got any more crack for the rest of the podcast? No. Uh, that, not really, to be honest. There was that fucking wheat of Bix beans, big social thing. But I don't want to give him the <laughs> Are we going to talk about, about beans? And I don't want to set you off about no, fucking we're not. beans. No, we're not going to give him the satisfaction. Fuck. Beans. Yeah, fuck him. Oh, uh, there's a question. Beans. What is uh, just down here on on the podcast topic? A uh, bit of an open one. What's the worst fast food chain? Starbucks, hands down. What? Starbucks is good. Oh, oh, oh! That's don't no, no, no shade awful. to Starbucks. I'm afraid. No, it's I would so like shit. that. It is so shit. The coffee is not the best. Admittedly, oh, nice. everything away from the coffee, decent. Yeah, in my opinion. Nah, the sandwiches are small and it's overpriced and it's just fucking wank. I don't like it. Well, you're wrong. You are wrong. What, is yours, I would... then? what would you say yours is then? Something like fucking Dixie Chicken, like some fucking KFC mm. knockoff. No, but like mainstream, like a mainstream fast food. But it says, oh, okay, okay. Burger King. Anybody like a Burger King? Never really go for a Burger King. No, Burger King's no, pretty ass. Burger King's pretty ass. I'm not going to say what I think is the worst, but I think KFC and KFC Gaming are the best. There we go. Yes, there we go. There we go. I should sponsor the podcast. Give us, yep. Bring it in, KFC Gaming. Uh, what TV show has the best finale or worst one? Which TV show had the best finale and the worst one? So what best TV show has the best or worst finale? Can I can I have James Marriott's Anime Corner after you guys answer this with, with Western shows? Yeah, sure, you can have... We'll no. give you that. No. I'm going with Breaking okay. Bad for best. Uh, I love the end of Breaking Bad. And I'm going Game of Thrones for worst. Yeah, to be fair. <laughs> Sorry, the, the, the two-word response. I love that. Oh, wait, it's four words. To be fair is not a word. I thought you were just going to say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm right, so yeah, don't 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 come for me, James. Because no, that... to be fair, yeah, no, there's there's nothing really you can counter that with. I'm I think right. Breaking Bad was a phenomenal ending. I love um Aaron Paul when he goes like when he screams. That's like a really good end of uh, Breaking. I tell you what was shit though. If this counts as an ending, El Camino, that was fucking yeah, wank. That was absolutely shit. I didn't watch it. No, I liked El Camino. When we went to Alaska. Oh, it's so bad. Don't even bother. It's so bad. I liked it. I I liked it. <laughs> I'm popular opinion. Awful. I liked it. All right. I yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. I was gonna, I was going to talk about I was going to talk about anime, but yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's a good place to end. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Uh, please rate us five stars and go and rig the fucking um poll to make yeah, please. feel we a really bit better about it. our channel. We'll bring back good main channel videos soon, but for now, it is goodbye. Goodbye, 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 goodbye our friends. Goodbye. 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 What is this song?